going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order Book. Remember, those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. And in the times that we are in right now, it is definitely important for you to learn how the world works. Also, much love to those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. And then also, those who donate to the Cash App Patreon, much love. Keep it coming. And then also those who are shopping at both stores, much love, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And Bitcoin is showing its dominance. And if you listen to the media, it's because a Bitcoin futures ETF is coming. But you guys, we know better. We know it is the Fed just pumping it up. We know a Bitcoin futures ETF is not going to make any big difference. The reason why? Because it allows the casino to get bigger. That's all it is. They're just betting on the price. They don't care about the physically backed Bitcoin. We know what the Fed does. They're going to raise it up and then they're going to drop it down. Now, we also have CME Bitcoin futures open interest. It's eight month high. And again, guys, the casino is wide open. And don't forget, guys, when we go into a bear market, Bitcoin dominance also always comes back. Now, do not forget Ethereum options expire, so I definitely see a pullback tonight going in tomorrow, and then Saturday night going to Sunday, we start pulling up, and of course, CME opens up Sunday night. And guys, we know on the weekend, we're the only game in town, so do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have volume, we have tether, we have USDC, and then of course, we have the Fed, which actually pumped more into the market yesterday, so that's the reason why we saw stocks and cryptos go up guys i'm telling you keep your eye on the indicators is never steer you wrong and the same thing goes with stocks and then also guys we have grayscale make sure you're keeping an eye on the grayscale well because they're buying billions at a time guys so it's going to swing the market but we also know the fed has said what they're going to be tapering so we know we're going to have a pullback in stocks and cryptos but i definitely see bitcoin dominance keep rising because of that and the Bitcoin futures ETF is coming at a perfect time. We know with no regulation, no pension, no 401k is going to invest their money in a Bitcoin ETF. But they know with a futures ETF, the casino is wide open. It is betting on the actual price. Now we have Polygen Soars after being listed on Upbit. And let's get over into a little crypto news. We have Coinbase, which it shouldn't say Coinbase, it should say Andreessen, my guy, proposes that the United States create a new regulator to oversee crypto. Now, guys, when is the last time we see corporations dictating what the government does? We know behind the scenes that happens, but now it's wide open. Guys, they don't even care because they know that the nation is asleep. 
They can do whatever they want right now. Just think about it, guys. They're building a whole new economy right in front of people's eyes, and the people have no clue. Yes, it is unbelievable. Yes, it seems like a movie, but no, we are in reality. By the time the people wake up, the robots, algorithms, and drones will run this economy. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, we have a Canadian city plans to supply residents with heat using Bitcoin mining. Now, we have Bitwise files for physically backed Bitcoin ETF with New York Stock Exchange, ARCA. And remember, ARCA is electronic. The regular New York Stock Exchange is physical. Remember, guys, automation. Now, we have half of unique active crypto wallets played a blockchain game in quarter three. And guys, we already know how big gaming is going to be. We have that new term, gamification. We know when it comes to gambling and we know when it comes to gaming, that is going to take over society. And we already know the millennials, Generation Z, they're going to adapt and take this in because this is all they're going to know. And lastly, guys, we have Japan will prioritize simplicity in CBDC design, says a central bank executive. And guys, we know all these countries are going to have stable coins, CBDCs, that's going to replace their regular fiat currency, which will be connected to the digital yuan. And that digital yuan is going to be attached to that digital SDR. So therefore, the new world order, the central banks keep total control. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. And I'm going to leave you a quote of Thomas Jefferson. Not my ancestor, but I'm definitely going to leave you this quote because this quote is facts. I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than a standing army. If the American people ever allow private banks to control the issue of their currency, first by inflation, that's what we're going through now, then by deflation, that's what cryptos are going to do. The banks and corporations that will grow up around will deprive the people of all their property. Remember, you will own nothing, but you will be happy. Until their children wake up homeless on a continent their fathers conquered. The issue in power should be taken from the banks and restored to the people to whom it properly belongs. And guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the Bush Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Plus, the three kids' books is time to re-educate. Also, if you know cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, and not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your cobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, got their own stocks, the C-Ray, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. This yesterday on the panel that I think... Central bank digital currencies were concocted in hell by Satan himself. Uh, they are incredible control by governments over everybody's bank account, and they are the, uh, they're going to create a void of privacy for every individual citizen. I think they're horrible, but I think that's where they... The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figures. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. 
robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.